So you see all these product photos on Insta and everywhere else and you're thinking, how can I get better photos? I don't have a studio or anything, I just have my living room. How can I get better photos in the comfort of my own home? Well, today that's what I'm gonna show you. What is going on everybody? My name's Finn Badgley. If you're new around here, I'm a commercial fashion portrait photographer and today I am showing you a little behind the scenes of some product photos I did for a jewelry client of mine that I actually managed to do in the comfort of my own home. So let's get into it. Now, this is a continuing part from the main images that I did for this campaign. Link to the behind the scenes for that right here. And in addition to the lifestyle shots that we did for this, they also wanted some product shots and some product B-roll. So with that in mind, I got to work made a little bit of a home studio setup and got cracking. So I was originally thinking doing some kind of classic white background, just the isolated subject, simple product photos like you see pretty much everywhere. But this being a campaign, I thought we should have something a little more dynamic, include more products in it, and have something that's a little more stylized. So that's when I got to work trying to make a really nice flat lay image. And if you don't know, a flat lay is kind of when you just have an overhead view looking down at your kind of subject, your scene going on, and it's usually used in product photos or anything to kind of illustrate a wide idea with a bunch of products or anything like that mixed in usually sells a lifestyle or something like that there's a cat doing stuff to my left cats doing stuff if you want a lot of really good examples of flat light images becky and chris have a bunch on their channel peter mckinnon you know just everybody they show it really well um, these can be used for a wide range of applications, whether it's just showing a what's in my bag kind of thing, or if you're doing like branded content for somebody and you kind of want to put a bunch of their products together to show that kind of lifestyle, kind of almost create a little scene. That's kind of what we did here. So I took a bunch of the jewelry pieces, arranged them on a white background, and you can see how I kind of have it set up here. Now, my main light for this, this is actually a one light setup because I wanted kind of some dramatic shadows. My main light for this is, as always, my trusty Flashpoint Explorer 600, and I'm shooting this on the EOS R. Hey everyone, me from the future here. Just wanted to jump in and let you know because I realized I forgot to mention it. You'll notice I have a glass jar in front of the light as I'm shooting all of this, and that is just to give some refractions, a couple little different light hits there, here and there, just to kind of make it look as if it is sunny outside or something like that. It's coming through a window and giving really nice natural light streaks, that kind of refraction. It just creates the overall atmosphere and mood. And yeah, just wanted to point that out. So subscribe and we'll get back to the main video. With that said, you can see the first couple shots. They weren't really what I was going for. They were okay, but they almost looked too busy and just kind of cluttered. There wasn't really a lot of dimension there. So to kind of amp up the shot, I got a couple little cubes, containers, little things to kind of put in the shot that were monochromatic. So we have a white one and a black one just to add a little bit of depth, a little dimension, and that way you can kind of lift some of the pieces off, style them a little differently like you see, and overall it made a world of difference. It also really illustrated the concept of that dramatic shadow that I was thinking of. Now, the only issue here being that it was jewelry and I am using one light, I wasn't getting quite the reflection in the jewelry that I was wanting. You could, it was lit very well, but the jewels and the diamonds and everything weren't really sparkling. So that is when I grabbed my trusty five in one reflector, turned it to the silver side and kind of had it dip over top, 
kind of reflecting back that light to the top of the jewels of the diamonds in the jewelry to really give that sparkle and give that extra added layer, added crispness, if you will. So overall, you can see what we started out with and then what we ended up with. And this all just happened because of a couple little tweaks, adding in a couple little styling cubes, adding in that bounce, and it takes a shot from being okay to absolutely amazing. Now, if I were the client, the first shot, I don't know if I would have been too happy with, but the last shot is absolutely killer. And I am very happy with how it turned out. Now, this kind of thing you can do for a bunch of applications. It doesn't just have to be jewelry. You can use it for any kind of products or anything that you are shooting. And it doesn't have to be on a white background. If you're using something more colorful, if you wanna go for like a pop art kind of thing, you can use a lot of different styling cubes and like little pieces, a different colored paper to really create a dynamic shot and really make things pop. But for this shoot, I wanted to keep the emphasis on the jewelry, keep it simple, keep it classy, and just overall make it a really elegant shot. And that is exactly what we accomplished. And hopefully these tips can kind of give you some insight on how you can do the same kind of thing with your own product photos. And like I said, this is all done within the comfort of my own home. I didn't have to go out to a studio to do this or anything. I just set up a big white card, put my light on, and there we have it. Now, I also do want to mention that my tripod, it does allow for a flat light type of shot just based on how it works. And if you don't have that, you can kind of carefully hold your camera over top and you'll just need to take more photos and try to get it as kind of 90 degree down as you can so that way it's just pointing straight down and you're not getting any weird kind of perspective going on there now for that i would recommend taking more photos obviously because you might get a little bit of camera shake or you might just not have the quite right perspective that you're going for now also i am incredibly tall you might be shorter than me so you might need to stand on a stool or something like that just overall use what you have around you and you can make this really pop and if you're also shorter just you can just do it on the floor as well i know i'm doing this on a table but that that's just because that's what i wanted to do and how i wanted to work it all out but by no means do you have to do that as well so Take these tips, go off with them, and create some amazing product images, some amazing flat lays, and I would love to see them. My Instagram is fin underscore badgley if you want to tag me there, kind of show me what you've been working on. Now, with that all said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got some value of it, drop a like. It actually does make a difference in the whole YouTube algorithm secrecy thingamajig. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos so you never miss an upload. And I will see you on the next one.